Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly forecast. This is your reading for the week ahead, April 18th through the 24th, 2022. For all Aquarius suns, moons, risings, Aquarius is on the house cusp. If you have your sun in the 11th house or Venus in Aquarius, you can watch this reading. Please do keep in mind these are general forecasts and they may not resonate with everyone out there. And as I always say, for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, please do come get a personal private tarot reading with either me or your favorite tarot reader out there. For your reading today, Aquarius, we are using the Anna K Tarot deck by Anna K. I do not have the box with me today, but uh, if you want more information regarding this deck, uh, you can definitely go ahead and search for it online. You can check your Amazon or local bookstore. I'm sure you can find it on there. I've also listed it below in the description for you. Oracle Messages, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle Cards by Claude Baron Reed. This is a Hay House product. Also, if you want more information regarding the cover design, the illustration, or cover art, uh, here's a website and some more information right here. Go ahead and take a look if that is interesting to you. Okay. Aquarius, um, what else? Personal readings, I do offer them. If you'd like to book a personal private chair reading with me, all my information is below in the description, including my website and scheduling page. There's also a link up in the right-hand corner. Click the on the sky, it'll take you to my scheduling page where you can book a reading at your convenience. Let's go ahead and see what's going on for you over the next week, Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius over the next week? High Priestess. Listening to your intuition. Okay, someone could be having their moon cycle. I definitely got phases of the moon here. Something going on with lunar cycles okay, or moon cycle. Let's see. Maybe you're in High Priestess mode right now. Nine of Cups, something to celebrate. Mm. So let's see, Aquarius. I'm getting a message regarding timing. Okay. Uh, I'm not just getting timing, but I'm getting also like, uh, how, how are you uh, like doing a time exchange or uh, converting time or something like that? Could be something going on with clocks or time or timing. Okay, something is going to go by the phases of the moon or something is lunar. It's like a lunar event here. I believe we have a full moon in Libra coming up. Is that today? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, let's see. Underneath the deck, we have the Ten of Cups, Pisces, the most happiness. Queen of Swords. Very nice. All right. Uh, so I think you're perfectly clear about uh, your happiness, your success, uh, what you want, what is going to make you ultimately happy in this lifetime. I feel like you could be communicating that to someone this week. How you see yourself today, we have strength in reverse Aquarius. It's your opposite sign, Leo energy. Mm, I'm getting, uh, biting the hand that feeds you. Okay? I'm also getting, uh, you might be feeling weak or uh, you could be dealing with some self-esteem issues. There could be some sort of compulsivity here. Um... Something could be going on with your cat this week or your pet. Watch out for, uh, this is also like lashing out. There could be issues here with dominance and submission or um, I'm seeing like uh, not being able to control your urges or something. What is your theme this week? Two of Swords or First Libra. Hmm. Traditional meaning of this card reverse is um, the silent treatment, uh, withholding, silence, not communicating. Someone's just watching someone do something here. Um, you might be making up your mind this week about, about a situation, about keeping quiet about your decision. Notice in this card that the the ocean is raging in the background. 
you can see the white surf. So I feel like you're putting something behind you this week when it comes to an, a decision. I, I'm also getting, you might be putting something off or someone could be putting something off here. Um, the silent treatment is a form of coercion. It's also a very passive aggressive energy. So um, you or someone else could be doing, using this with you this week. Um, I also do see abuse with this card, the strength card in reverse. So I don't know. Um, someone might not be talking about something here. In the past, you learned a lesson regarding the five of rods in reverse, Leo. Now, this has to do with unhealthy competition, um, petty hassles, struggles, arguments that are not really worth your time. So in the past, um, this is about um, coming out of that scenario. So... Mm. Yeah, someone here didn't. Someone here wasn't jiving with the situation. I'm getting. It could be you or someone else. Your challenge this week is the Eight of Swords reversed. Your challenge is to stop seeing yourself as a victim in a situation, to set yourself free. Um, to see a problem for what it is, or to release yourself from a situation where you feel trapped. Um, yeah, because right now, um, there's a situation where you or someone you know is like really stuck, stuck in their head. Um, victim mentality is written all over this. The lesson you're learning now is uh, temperance. Your lesson has to do with healing a situation, um, taking the middle way, moderation. I'm also getting something about the steps, taking one step at a time or breaking something down into steps, or there could be a sort of like a 12 step program or some kind of a program here that you need to learn about. Uh, there's definitely a healing that needs to happen. You're learning a lesson regarding temperance, which is Sagittarius. There is like this balancing act going on here. So bringing something, learning how to bring something back into balance. Your gift is the page of rods reversed. I see some delays when it comes to communication. Something may not be um, arriving on time here. There could be some frustrations or heavy energy towards the end of the week. If you're dealing with a younger child or a younger fire sign, or if this is you, I definitely get here um, uh, frustrations here. Also, someone is acting out here. Someone is acting out or someone is having a temper tantrum. I also pick up Aries with this energy, but it could also be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You have Leo here as well. Let's see. What is your advice? Sweet. Yeah, I feel like someone's not communicating uh, with you or someone doesn't want to communicate with you. We have sacred union and sisters of the seasons. So this could have to do with a partnership or a romance. This is a good card here, by the way. It's like the two of cups. Sisters of the seasons, cycles of growth, natural law, divine order. So this has to do with like not forcing a season allowing the seasons to bring new energy into your life. Um, I, I see the word events here, or there's like an event happening. Um, divine order, important word there, natural law. A season for everything. Celebrating the seasons of your life or in a relationship. I'm also getting like um, a, a particular partnership here is going through a growth period and is going to be, there is divine order here. So either way, um, something's going to be brought back into balance. I feel like something's out of balance here. What's underneath the deck? Hmm. Eyes of Beauty. Aries had this card. You might want to watch the Aries recent read reading. Uh, prison wave underneath that. 
So get unstuck. Time to get unstuck. Uh, if you're feeling trapped or stuck, um, it's time to allow a new season of growth in your life. All right. And healing. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I was going to say Sagittarius, Aquarius. I will see you guys back soon.